This is Zindorf, a small, picturesque town located in the region of Firth, Germany, which is home to the branch data group, the creators and producers of the line of toys known as Playmobil. These guys have been around for just over 40 years, and since their launch in 1974, 2.9 billion Playmobil figures have been produced. That's three times the population of Europe. The toys, consisting of around 30 different play themes and 3,995 different characters, are distributed to over 100 countries worldwide and are enjoyed and collected by both children and adults alike. So why am I so far from home? Well, I have grown up with Playmobil from a very young age because Malta, my home country, has welcomed the Playmobil production factory for over 40 years. However, the professional reason I am here is to investigate just how Playmobil has been thriving alongside not only its competitors, but also against more modern toys, gadgets and gizmos since their introduction in the 1980s. It all began in 1971, when Hans Beck, also known as the father of Playmobil, was asked by Horst Brandstatter to develop toy figurines for children. Beck went ahead and spent the next three years designing a not-too-complex, but nevertheless flexible toy. He felt that too much flexibility would get in the way of children's imaginations, and too much rigidity would cause frustration. The toy he came up with, at 7.5 centimeters tall, fit in a child's hand perfectly, and its facial design was based on children's drawings. A large head, a big smile, and no nose. It was not until 1974 that the toy went into production and the global oil situation imposed on the Brandstatter data group to look into producing toys that required less plastic, contrary to their product portfolio at the time, such as the hula hoops. Beck's noble vision, which has been continued to present day, was to design a toy that did not impose specific play patterns on children, but rather stimulates and fuels their imaginative and creative development. I met up with Judith Weingart, the woman responsible for the development, marketing and sales of the toys, to find out just how much their popularity has changed over the years. Uh, the Playmobil figures have celebrated their 40th anniversary last year and they are still, well, one could say as popular, we're still growing as, as uh, in the past decades. And I think there's enough space in the minds to have both um, classical role play with Playmobil and um, to have time for more modern technical tools and gadgets. Um, I think uh, that's just part of children's lives today. There have been changes in the Playmobil assortment regarding the variety of play themes, the diversification and um, individuality of, of, of figurines. But on the other hand, it has remained the same. The play pattern, the, the philosophy has remained the same. The figure is still the center of the Playmobil universe. But certainly the Playmobil themes and worlds, they reflect um, also our modern life, our reality. So if clothing changes um, or the haircut styles um, are changing, you will find that in the assortment. In this way, uh, Playmobil stays modern and up to date. Back at the factory, it begins with an idea. Lead designers put pen to paper or index to mouse to draw multiple versions of what could possibly be the next big Playmobil character or themed playset. Then, once approved, Thousands of tons of tiny plastic granules that are stored in 30 meter high silos are shot through over 50 kilometers worth of piping before they are colored and pumped through into the injection molds. Once the parts are moulded, they go through a process called tampo printing. This process involves transferring a 2D image onto the 3D Playmobil piece and helps create the multitude of unique costumes within the Playmobil range. Once the parts have been stamped, they individually make their way through to the automat assembly machine. Clicky, as the Playmobil toys were known as in their earlier days, are made up of seven different pieces. The legs, torso skeleton, the torso, 
two separate arms, the head, and finally hair, which is interchangeable. This entire figure is assembled by this machine behind me in just 1.5 seconds. Let's see how long it takes me to assemble one of these guys. A wide range of accessories, buildings and vehicles are also part of the Playmobil line. The competitive advantage of this toy world, however, is that they are realistic and present accurate representations of tools, armour and costumes from a recognisable time period. They are especially notable for their fine attention to detail, as well as their production moulding details, like the face, which is injection moulded so it never fades away. Modern technology has obviously helped turn Playmobil into the world-renowned brand it is today. However, it was not part of the brand's original design or concept. Playmobil's core of the brand was, and still is, imaginative roleplay. Of course, this does not mean the brand limits the possibilities of play for children to toys without any technological features. However, Mr. Branchdatter disapproved as he stated that he in fact sometimes wished that the toy was even simpler, but continues to say that he understands that children want new things and are living in different times to that of 50 years ago. Children today need to understand computers and technology, so this brought around a repositioning of the toy in the children's lives, and Mr. Branchstetter continues that the toy is there for when the child gets away from the computer, because to understand the world, they must play. I think technology is part of children's life today, but I think it's always the matter of the right balance between technology and classic play patterns. So for their social development, I think uh, best for children is to interact, to have social contacts, to talk with one another. And for this purpose, I think uh, role play with Playmobil is an ideal tool. My favorite quote is uh, from Albert Einstein, and he once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. So I thought, why did he say that? But um, I think um, it comes up to the point that if you have a problem, you have to combine facts and figures in a new and innovative way, and then you will find the solution. And I think that um, role play and doing role play is, is really inspiring imagination and creativity and will help you when you are grown up to, to really um, solve new situations in which you have not been before. And that's why I like it so much. <laughs> the Playmobil brand and philosophy does not stop with the different toy figurines, costumes, accessories, animals or houses, but they have also extended it to creating the fun park. I met up with Anna Ehrman, the head of public relations and social media at Playmobil, who took me around the Playmobil Fun Park to discuss how the brand is managing to inspire imagination. We believe the Fun Park should be like our toys. That means kids should not just be on a ride and passively consuming, they should be active, run around, enjoy the park and engage with everything in their own way. The same is true of course for Playmobil toys. Um, if the kids don't get active and don't bring the toys to life, um, nothing will happen. So it's very important for them to get active and use their imagination. Das ist halt egal mit was sie spielen von Playmobil. Es ist alles äh, toll und äh, kreativ, ob sie jetzt mit der Ritterburg spielen oder im Krankenhaus oder im Funpark. Es weckt halt die ganze Idee aus der Kinder raus. Und da sieht man einfach, dass die einfache Dinge wenn man früher auch viel gespielt hat, einfach wichtiger für die Kinder sind. Und sie hatten wirklich schon lange nicht so viel Spaß, und auch unsere Kinder mit acht Jahren, was wir eigentlich nicht gedacht hätten. Wir dachten, es ist eher was für kleinere Kinder, aber so ist es überhaupt gar nicht. Ja, wir sind ganz großer Fan von Playmobil und ähm, freuen uns natürlich hier zu sein. Und ähm, es ist halt mal was anderes, als nur die Kinder vorm, vorm Tablet sitzen zu haben. Und ähm, der Geist ist, finde ich, dann auch ein bisschen freier, als wenn sie nur so stupide ähm, auf dem Tablet sitzen. Und ähm, ja, 
Und gefällt sie, ist es schön. Having established that these little guys and girls have had the place in the lives of three generations of children, whilst also retaining a number of fans and collectors in the now adult market, I would personally like to be a testimonial of this and share with you my dream of sending this guy into space. Here we have a simple weather balloon and rig setup with this camera that will be placed inside the box here as it films this guy on the wooden platform right here. Inside the box we have a GPS tracking system that will allow us to locate this guy once he lands back down on Earth. And to assure that he does in fact arrive back down on Earth, we've attached a parachute that will deploy as soon as the balloon pops way up in the stratosphere. Let's go try this out. In just a few moments, we'll be able to send our little guy off on his journey. So, the balloon's gonna go up to about 28 kilometers where it will reach the stratosphere. Once there, the balloon will freeze over, pop, and send our little guy spiraling back down to Earth. Luckily, he's got a parachute, so he should arrive back down safely. Let's see how this goes. It's hard to think that this little guy has come back all the way from space. I hope the camera's still recording. Let's go check out the footage. We have it. This guy actually went to space. I can guarantee this toy, having come from space and back, has passed its quality inspection and is now ready to be loved and enjoyed by children all around the world. The figures are processed and sealed into poly bags before making their way into the packaging bay. The poly bags are then placed into their correct box by hand to ensure nothing has been forgotten.
The play sets are then boxed and sealed as they await being squirted into their designated trucks. They are then transported to one of the hundreds of Playmobil shops or retailers around the world. And here we have him, our brave astronaut all packaged and ready, awaiting his new family that will undoubtedly enjoy every second of play with him. It is clear that the Playmobil figurine has adapted over four decades and looks like it will continue to inspire creativity and imagination in generations of children yet to come. But how long can they withstand technology without losing sight of what is important to the roots and philosophy of the brand? Will Clicky continue to represent Hans Beck's vision?